now getting some other updates as far as Karnataka is concerned. Look at the visuals that we're putting out. It is the flood fury that continues. The IT corridor of Bengaluru is completely flooded. We're also understanding areas like Belindur and Mahadevpura areas are also flooded. Harish Upadhyay continues to bring us those details. Harish, the visuals are not looking great. Just talk to us about the main areas where the flood fury continues. Well, it's largely the IT corridor of uh, Bangalore that's been affected by the overnight rains. Uh, whether it's Belandur, Mahadevpura, HSR uh, layout, or even uh, crucial roads connecting Bengaluru to the electronic city, all these major roads, especially which are part of the outer ring road, have been inundated. As a result, you see our uh, traffic flow getting affected severely, uh, especially in the morning uh, office hours. And uh, to make matters worse, the water hasn't resided because there has been rain for the last few days. And uh, most of these lakes are full now, and uh, the drains too are clogged, and uh, roads continue to be inundated. Uh, there is a yellow alert for the city as well, more rain expected in the evening. So it's absolute misery, especially for office goers, uh, the ones heading to IT companies located on the outer ring road and electronic city. Harish, what has been the response as far as the state government is concerned? Well, the state government uh, is uh, grappling with issues at various places, uh, especially of flooding in districts, in Bengaluru as well. The government says that uh, this is unprecedented rain being seen, huge amount of rain in a very short duration. Uh, several areas in Bangalore have received in excess of 110 milli 10 millimeters of rain uh, overnight, and that has meant that uh, most uh, drains do not have the capacity to carry that kind of a water, and that's one of the reasons the government claims that these roads have been flooded. But uh, let's also not forget the government has failed to clear up drains in terms of drains, stormwater drains, Rajakalaways, which are meant to ensure that stormwater discharges to the nearby lake. Those have been encroached, not cleared. At the same time, many of these roads are on the periphery of uh, lakes as well, on lake boundaries. That has meant that uh, flooding becomes inevitable. In the case of Mysore Road, we've already seen uh, uh, natural sense of various lakes being uh, blocked by the high expansion project which has meant that uh, a big ticket project, which has seen hundreds of crores uh, being spent, uh, seeing massive damage at the same time, uh, massive flooding as well. You know, Harish, once again, what has come to light is the lapses as far as urban planning is concerned. Look at the updates that we're getting as far as the Bengaluru, Mysuru Highway is concerned. That is also inundated. What has been the response as far as officials on the ground? Because this is not anything new as far as Bangalore is concerned. Well, uh, the chief minister visited uh, some of these areas, uh, uh, especially along the Mysuru Bengaluru Highway. And uh, he claimed that the work that's happening, the expansion work, work that's happening, had clogged the drains. But there are issues here. As experts have pointed out, that there are valley areas where this highway project is being constructed. And it takes no uh, precaution to ensure that there is enough space, enough drain space uh, for the valley to be not disturbed. And at many places, this valley has been clogged, the road has been built over it, and only a few pipes have been placed merely for uh, uh, adhering to the norms, but not really ensuring that practically the water can be drained to the downstream lakes. And that's one of the main reasons that uh, the Mysuru High Bengaluru Mysuru Highway has been blocked, especially around Kumbal Godu, Bidadi, and Ramnagara area. You know, Harish, as you were rightly pointing out, and as I said, this is not anything new, whether it's rain, potholes, or floods. These are pictures that we continue to see year after year, causing a lot of inconvenience to residents and the other travellers. One, I want to understand what is the kind of traffic snarls that we're seeing in and around these affected areas. What is the advisory that has also been issued to people? Well, in fact, around uh, uh, the outer ring road, the police are diverting the traffic. Uh, many of these places around uh, uh, Mahadevpura, HSR and other places, the traffic police are advising people to not take the outer ring road stretch, uh, which is completely blocked uh, because of the flooding and uh, several vehicles have been stranded on the road. So the police advising people not to take this road and take alternative routes. But the problem is several of these areas are also, uh, they do Correct. not have good interior roads and can't take this kind of a traffic. Hmm. So it's an absolute uh, traffic small. And in some places, the traffic has come to a grinding halt and people are having a miserable time this morning. Harish, I'll just